Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video we will show you how to set up the EX600 wireless hardware and configure those devices. During the video we will show you the equipment, software and steps required. In the end we will have set the IP address and paired the wireless components. Let's get started. These parts and part numbers represent a typical wireless Ethernet IP EX600 system to connect to your PLC. You'll need a PC, software, internet access, and USB connectivity to complete this configuration. Please refer to our earlier EX600 hardware setup video for the wireless layout and setup. Now let's set up the card reader to work with the PC and wireless EX600. You must first install drivers for the NFC I.O. configurator through these links. Verify the installation before continuing. Plug the NFC card reader into your PC. Select the NFC port icon. Keep only the NFC B setting. If the Enable NFP setting box is checked, uncheck it, then press OK. Now, let's put the EX600 wireless configurator onto the PC. Download and copy the IO configurator program file from the SMC link to a PC folder you can find later. Then click on it and start your application. With IO configurator now running, it will be blank until the card reader senses the wireless SI unit. Move the NFC card directly onto the wireless remote unit to configure that module first. The card reader is now detected. Refresh to update the unit. With power on the EX600 remote unit, you should see activity now. IO Configurator has two modes, so click on Administrator Mode to gain access for changes. Enter the password Admin in lowercase to begin this mode. So start under Properties, then go to the default settings with the Read Factory Data button as the settings can there be changed. For this trial the defaults will be used. Keep the settings with Save All and Refresh. Click Pairing Setting and set the remote into Pairing Mode. Reset the module. Move the card reader over the Base SI module and do a refresh. Stay in the Properties tab and verify Base Setting. Go through the settings as was done before using the defaults. Now click Ethernet settings or how the wireless EX600 will talk to the PLC. Choose the defaults again but then change the address to match the network trial 192.168.043 then save all and refresh. Then go into the system settings which are for the base controlling the entire system. Again for this trial use the defaults from read factory data then save all and refresh. Now go to the remote registration. Set this into pairing mode with the button, then reset the module. Continue to refresh the unit until the remote data comes up on the screen. Once you see it appear, pick which channel it is from the pull down, then use the arrow button to add it to the registered box. Save the registration with the refresh. Then reset the module. Leave pairing mode and go into normal mode. Then reset the unit. We can verify operation through the EX600 remote indicators here as well as the base indicators here. So now we're ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our next serial interface video where we'll show you how to map the data between the PLC and the wireless EX600 in order to control the valves and outputs.